Mr. Blockstein. Good evening, and thank you for the opportunity. One to second, Mr. Blockstein. Mr. Willard, can you turn off your microphone? There you go. Mr. Blockstein, we'll start you over. Thank you. Good evening, and thank you for the opportunity to express my opposition to the Clarksburg 10 Mile Creek sector plan as recommended by the Planning Board. I'm David Blockstein of Tacoma Park. I hold the doctorate in ecology from the University of Minnesota. I'm a senior scientist with the National Council for Science and the Environment. However, I'm testifying as an individual. I want to tell you about a very small creature. It is a free-living caddisfly of the family Rycophidae, and it lives in Ten Mile Creek. Don't worry, I'm not going to put another endangered species in front of you. If you're a trout fisherman, you probably know this insect. Water quality monitoring conducted by my wife, Deborah Pribola, and others from the Audubon Naturalist Society, as discussed by Kathy Wiss, has shown that in Montgomery County, it is only found in streams of high quality. It is an indicator species. It lives where the water is clean. It probably once lived in much of Montgomery County. Now it has its last stand in the Ten Mile Creek watershed, which includes Little Seneca Lake, one of the best wildlife habitats in the county. I know the council has heard much testimony already. This little creature can't testify. It can't calculate the amount of impervious surface. But in a way it can, because where there's too much pavement and too much sediment going into the stream, when the stream temperature rises due to the lack of shade, this larva cannot survive. Its scientific name, Ryacophilidae, means torrent living. Only cold water and fast flows can meet their needs, just as like for the trout that feed on them. The caddisfly larvae don't understand politics or compromise. It just knows that if water conditions deteriorate, it can't live. Some of you may be asking, who cares? There are several reasons why we ought to care. First, this animal is an indicator of the quality of clean drinking water supply and the great wildlife habitat that is in Ten Mile Creek and su that supports the richness of Little Seneca Lake. Second, these insects are the little things that run the world. The loss of species diversity is a loss in our human quality of life and the loss of the qualities that make Montgomery County such a great place to live. Third, the economic value of clean water and wildlife habitat is substantial, as was discussed today. There's no question that the sector plan, as recommended by the Planning Board, is environmentally damaging. It is not acceptable to the Rycophilidae, and it should not be acceptable to the County Council. Scientists are used to thinking in the long term. I encourage the Council to do so also. How will the interests of the County as a whole be served by adding still another subdivision into one of our last best places in the county. When future councils and citizens look back at this council, will they say, I'm thankful that because of the actions in 2013, we still have a place in Montgomery County where we can fish for trout, get clean water for drinking when we need it, and even allow the Rycophilids to survive? I hope so. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Blockstein.